Hey, hey, hey everyone, my name is Nolan and welcome back to another episode of the Calamity Mod. And sorry, I just wiped my nose if my face or voice sounded weird. And between episodes, I had some Martian Madness chaos. I just farmed the Martian Madness event. There was nothing really exciting about it. And I got this cool little space dude costume and I'm wearing it because it reminds me of Jetpack Joyride. So yeah, stay mad at me. I don't care. It looks cool and I'm wearing it. But yeah, out of that... I got a laser minigun, and that actually makes something, so I wanted to take it out here and see here what it makes really quick. It makes a, um, oh, which one of these can I make? Not that one, it's this one. I can make, no, never mind, I can't make either of these yet, sorry, I, I, I have a hard time remembering things. So, I need to start off by making the new Scoria armor, I believe it is, and I don't actually know if it's going to be better than, why... Scoria bar. I don't actually know if it's going to be better than what I have right now, and it actually might just be ranged. Oh no, there is a magic one. So, I guess I could just try it. It looks like it's it's mainly supposed to be range. Okay, and there's wings too. So yeah, I also needed to make wings, and at this point in the game, I have the, I have the thing open. The best wings are fish wrong wings, or... Actually, those those uh, Scorio wings. So, let's see here. So, if I look up wings, can I make those Scorio wings right now? What are, what are they even called? Um, oh, it's not even called wings. Mantle. Mantle. Here we go. This right here. Yes, I can craft it. Okay, cool. Let's craft it. Let's go. We got that. Now, we need to make another super accessory called the, uh, the Sigil of Calamity. It's not really a super accessory. It's just an accessory, but I need to get a Celestial Emblem and craft. And then now we should be able to make the Sigil of Calamity. Calamitous? Yes? Oh, I need evil water. Okay, just made some unholy water, and now I can make the Sigil of Calamitous. And this gives 15% increased magic damage and 10% decreased mana usage, 100 max mana, and increases the range. For mana, pick up stars, which is definitely good. And I'm going to replace it with... This, this, I don't even know what this is. This is um, four mana, so I, I don't actually need this right now. Okay. And then also, I need to put the wings in here, probably for the solar cryogen. But this solar cryogen, man, it lasted me almost all of hard mode. And honestly, it's a really good accessory. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now, let's make the Scoria armor, which I don't actually know if that's what it's called. Um, oh, not, that's not what I meant to do. Let's see here. If I open this up and type in Scoria, Scoria bar, let's see here, what is it called? Hydrothermic. Okay, so let's look up Hydrothermic, and we need, I think this, I think, I think that's the only thing we can make, so we'll craft that, and then there's a magic one, which is this, no, that's Rogue, there you go, there's, there's magic. And again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or not, but we're going to craft them all just in case. Okay, so we made that. So now let's let's do some comparison here. Comparing here. Wow. So we got 68 defense right now. Our man is 370 and our magic weapon does 104 damage. So if we swap them out and we now have 70 defense, our magic goes up to 400 and it stays at the same um, damage. So honestly... I might keep this one for a little bit because the set bonus is mad or wait where's the set bonus 5% increased magic damage and 15% reduced mana usage inferno effect when below 50% life magic attack summon damaging and healing flare orbs on hit you emit a blazing explosion when you are hit oh I'm keeping this armor this <laughs> this armor seems really good okay now there's also a couple more weapons for me to make really quick one of them is the Everglade spray, which I probably won't use a lot. However, it is an upgrade to my golden shower thing, which I mean, if I can upgrade it, I might as well because it still inflicts the Ichor debuff. So we'll put, we'll get that on really quick. And yeah, it's not s extremely better, but it's still better nonetheless. And then I think, I think that's it. There was another one I could make with the Scoria bars, and it was, uh, it was a spell tome and it's called the forbidden sun so let's see here forbidden sun there we go right here and we can craft it so might as well craft it and we have to do some major reforging here so let's where's the goblin tinker at oh you sitting right here bro yeah i need you really quick okay so we got to reforge terror ray need to reforge that boom furious uh no um quick no um strong no come on give me something good demonic 
I can do better than that. Godly. Okay, yeah. See? See, it's always always the next reforge that does a lot better. Okay, let's reforge this one. Ruthless, no. Taboo, no. Adept. Mm. Honestly, sure, because I'm not going to be using it for damage. Okay, let's reforge this. Ruthless, no. Quick, no. Agile, no. Superior, why not? We'll take it. Not really too sure if I'm going to use that one yet, but we'll we'll find out. And I just need to deposit that really quick. Okay, now I've got to reforge my accessories. So, Sigil of Calamitous. Brisk, no. Cloaked, why would I ever want cloaked? Bro, I don't want anything with uh with Rogue. Okay, got to reforge this now. Wild. Bro, these things are so expensive to reforge. It's not even funny. Armored. I really don't need defense. I just want damage. Violent. No, give me something with damage. Come on. Stop giving me the same thing. Whatever, I'll take warding. I'll take warding. Warding. Guarding. Spiked. Okay, let's reforge some of these to get better ones. Because uh, this, this thing I'll probably use for a while. Menacing. Absolutely. Okay. I think that for now, that's going to be fine. I'm going to actually deposit these for now. Because um, I definitely won't need that. Okay, now it's time for a boss fight. We have to do the Plague Bringer Goliath. So I'm just going to craft some potions really quick. Oh, and actually really quick, there was one more thing I had to make. And it involved cooked fish. I remember that. It was a material for, I think, this. No, uh, the camper. Here we go. So I needed to make 50 cooked fish. And I can buy all that stuff. So really quickly, let's make some cooked fish. I, I went fishing and I got a lot of... A lot of stuff for this so I should just be able to I hopefully can use different ones we'll craft 50 okay now let's go buy pretty much all the um, the arena stuff and I think I think it's you you sell the arena stuff right yes okay okay here we go that okay I don't actually remember how much of the heart lanterns I need five three four five okay and then ten campfires I know I don't need to buy campfires but I'm going to because why not? Why not? Okay, we'll craft this. Or not craft, we'll buy it. And then buy this. And then buy a bewitching table. Okay, cool. So now, if I go deposit all that crap, I should be able to make the camper. And I'm going to make it daytime. And also, I want to test out the new weapon that I made, of course, on the dummies. So yeah, we got to do that. Okay, let's deposit all that. And then we should be able to make it. So, camper. Yes? Yes! Okay, boom. And I'm not... That's just going to be like for healing and stuff before boss fights. So yeah, I won't need that right now, but I wanted to make it. Okay, let's see here. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, hold up just a minute. Oh my gosh. Bro, we're almost doing 10,000 damage per second, bro. Okay, so how, what is the projectile on this thing? Okay. Okay, so I'm actually going to... Um, I think instead of the primordial earth... I'm gonna use this one for this fight, um, just because I used the Primordial Earth last time. Okay, so now we have to make the spawner for the Plague Bringer Goliath, which I can't actually remember what that is. Um, let's see here. It is a an abomination. Okay, so let's look up abomination. Here we go, and I'm pretty sure I can craft it. Yes. Okay, let's let's now go do this fight, and I won't need a cut because I can just go up here to this dude, buy a jungle potion. And we're here. Look at this. And I'm pretty sure that I can just spawn it spawn it in during the daytime. This is this isn't it. This is a mini boss. I panicked there. <laughs> I panicked there for a second. Okay, let's see. Here. Does this thing home? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I don't actually know. This might not be that good for the boss fight. Don't want to get hit. Okay, let's just let's just kill this thing really quick. Die. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's a weird mini boss. Okay, buff up. And let's summon this thing in. Boom. Plaguebringer Goliath. This, 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 in my opinion, is where the boss fights start getting a bit more intense. Oh wait, those those red things are good. Okay, I need to I need to try and remember that. Okay, so I don't I don't think I'll be able to use the Forbidden Sun thing because um because I can't, I can't, sorry guys I can't think because I'm doing a boss fight. Yeah, because the boss moves pretty fast and uh, the the Forbidden Sun does not have homing. So yeah, homing weapons are going to be kind of important. Wow, this music is cool. I got dope music, bro. Um, so yeah, I can't decide between Tears of Heaven or Terror Ray. Because Tears of Heaven is good for homing. And I haven't even taken a single hit yet. I think I keep overestimating these boss fights. But at the same time, that's not really a bad thing when it comes to Calamity Mod. Okay, I think something just changed right there. Okay, I got hit. 
And the the thing about this boss fight that scares me is that debuff that I just had, bro. It, oh, that. That right there. Yeah, and I just got hit again. See? Look at that. If Oh, gosh. I'm taking so much damage. Oh, don't, don't run into the boss. Don't, what are you doing? Oh, my gosh. I'm an idiot. Okay. Gotta gotta run away. Heal. That, that plague debuff does so much damage. It does, like, 50 damage, I think. Maybe even 100. Yeah, I might just keep my distance and use the terror ray for a little bit. And just try and follow the face on the... Yo, yo! I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so bad at computer games still. Oh, my gosh. Not good. Not good. We're below 50 life. We're below 50 life right now. 50%, I mean. Got 30 seconds left on a heal. Yo! Okay, we're good. I think that what I need to do is just, like, kind of stay in the air for as long as... Okay, that did not work. I was gonna say, what I need to try to do is stay as long... Yo, 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 yo. Okay, but those healing things are kind of coming in clutch right now. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, heal. No, I can't heal. 10 seconds, though. We're fine. Should be fine. Let's let's just get some homing shots in. Maybe try and heal a little bit with those. Yo! Bro, I just cannot dodge this thing for the life of me right now. Holy cow. No! Oh, it's so fast. It's so fast. I still need better movement. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this boss fight's probably one of the hardest ones I've done. Okay, come on. When's it gonna dash? I don't, I don't actually know any of these boss fight patterns either, so it's like... Ah! Okay. 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 Stop it. Stop it, please. Please. Let me kill you. Yes. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that actually was kind of scaring me a little bit. So we got a summon weapon. We got a mask. We got... Is this a yo-yo? Yeah. It's a yo-yo called the Pandemic. Toxic Heart summons a plague aura around you that damages nearby enemies. Okay. Um, armor plating. And then we got a melee weapon. So there is a magic weapon for this. So I'm going to fight it again. Right now. <laughs> and hope that I don't die. Oh, there's some lore up there too. I forgot to get... Okay. I'm going to... Yeah. Oh! Gosh, I, I'm so bad, bro. I don't I don't know, like, I just have to, like, stay far away. Oh, maybe I have to, like, go down and let it dash at me and then jump over it. Maybe that's... Because I'm, like, trying to go underneath it. So maybe the strategy is to jump over it instead. Because um, I don't think it can dash from an angle. I think it has to come straight on. Like, Queen Bee, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm figuring it out now. So if I just hang out down here, jump over it, and... Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine now. I think that's the strategy. Because we can take down these missiles pretty easily. The missiles don't do a lot of damage, but the debuff does. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. I almost had that. Okay, let's try again. Oh! Yo, yo, yo. I was not on the platform. I thought I was on the platform when it when it dashed at me, but I was not. Definitely not. Ah! Uh, okay, we'll take down those missile thingies. I don't even know what they are. Plague something. They're plague something. I don't know. Die, Plague Bringer. Okay, I'm gonna cut to the end of the fight because, um, yeah, it's kind of boring at this point. Okay, guys, well, this boss fight went a lot smoother than the last one. And it's dead. And hopefully I got the magic weapon this time. Doesn't look like I did. Um, I don't think I did. I got a ranged one. Um, I think I used all the max ones for that. Okay. Oh, I didn't get it? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight it again. Or maybe I could just not go with the magic weapon. Maybe I'll do that instead. <laughs> okay, guys, so currently that the video I made two episodes ago, so the Calamitous boss fight one, it's doing pretty good in views, and the, uh, the comments seem to be pretty positive. So I'd just like to say thank you guys for all the support on the Calamity videos. I really... I, I, I'm a pixel gun YouTuber, you know, so to actually have my Calamity videos do good, it really does mean a lot because I really like Calam Calamity mods so much. And so, yeah, to actually get some get some recognition on that it's pretty pretty cool i'm not gonna lie okay i'm gonna deposit all this stuff here um i didn't actually read the lore but it shouldn't be too much of a problem and actually i'm gonna deposit that but it does make something called the gatling laser and i wanted to make that because it does 720 dps and i'm pretty sure i can make it because i'm pretty sure i can make the la life alloy right i don't know let's let's see here pretty sure life alloy yes i can and i'll just make a little bit of it i'll make like 10 and then, let's see here, how do I make the gat- Oh, maybe I can just look it up. Let's see here, Gatling laser? Hopefully? No, what am I missing here? I need more- No, I need- I need- What am I missing? Oh, it says, you don't have sufficient knowledge to create this yet. A specific schematic must be deciphered first. So how do I decipher things? That's what I want to know. And also, I need to make this. 
the cosmic rainbow. But I don't know how to get the meld construct. Oh, never mind. I can't make that. Okay, so I think then I've made everything I can make. If you guys want to let me know how I actually craft like the sufficient knowledge thing, uh, if you want to let me know how to do that, I would greatly appreciate it because I, I don't understand anything about that like secret house thing. Okay, I guess next we just do the next boss on the list, which is I think Duke Fishron. Yeah, Duke Fishron, but I don't have the spawner for that right now, so I think I'm going to make the ra do the Ravager fight first, even though Duke Fishron does drop some pretty powerful gear. So, actually, wait, how did, how did I make that? Let's see here. Um, Death Whistle, okay, so I should just be able to look it up. Death Whistle. Yes? Can I make it? Yes, cool. Alright, let's do this boss fight right now. So, buff up, summon it in. Boom, I knew it was going to drop right on top of me. Okay. Let's try out this uh, Ikor thing and then like use it with oh, a magic weapon like this or something. Okay, I've never fought Ravager before, but from what from what I've watched people fight Ravager, um, if that makes sense, it's actually a pretty challenging boss fight. So I gotta be kind of cautious here. And ooh, took some damage there. Hopefully the debuffs that it brings are not super bad. Okay, we're doing fine right now so far, and I think that. This, this Ikor thing that I have might be helping quite a bit. I'm doing like 2,000 DPS right now. Okay, and then it runs out and I do about... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to keep using it for sure. We'll just hit it a little bit here, then go back to the Terror Ray and absolutely melt this thing down. And it's kind of funny that I made the Terror Ray. The Terror Ray is like that uh, the laser weapon, the Ion Blaster I made. It's just... You made it and it's so good. <laughs> This is amazing, bro. Can I kill those things? Oh, I almost got hit there. Okay, let's spray it with some more of the Everglade spray. There we go. Go back to the Terror Ray. It's kind of crazy how I'm able to scroll perfectly through. It's kind of crazy. Oh, is Supreme Calamitous... Is, is it immune to the Everglade thing? Or maybe there's an upgrade to the Everglade spray. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so that thing looks deadly. Is that like the head of it? This is basically just a Golem refight, kind of. I don't even think I've gotten hit yet. Except for the... Bro, that's like the third time in a row I've said that and then gotten hit straight after, bro. Okay, I can kill the head. So maybe I should try to then because I feel like the head's pretty deadly. The head is going to cause some major damage here. But it looks like it's easy to kill too. Okay, so so far this boss fight is not that bad. And it's basically just a later version of Golem. Still a pushover. I think I killed the head and now it's really aggressive. Okay, I basically cannot touch the ground because it, like, homes in on me, which is scary. Ah! Okay, we're doing fine, though. Gosh, <laughs> gets absolutely slammed. We're, do we're doing fine, though, I'm pretty sure. Come on, it's so fast, so fast. I cannot wait till we get better movement accessories. Okay, it's dead. Yay! And we got a blood moon. I don't want to fight a blood moon right now. Okay, we'll make it, we'll make it a day. I do not want to fight a Blood Moon. Okay, let's see here. What do we get? We got a melee weapon. Ooh, that's cool. Why does it only go one direction? I don't know. We got a summon weapon. Fleshy Geode. Right click to open. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. I guess it's a nice way to farm all those at once. Flesh Totem. Material. Has enemy contact damage. When you take contact damage, this effect has a 20 second cooldown. What do you make? What do you make? The core of the core of the blood god. Okay, so is that like a later thing? Yeah. Okay, that's that's freaking devourer gods. And what does this do? what does this do? Doubles your max HP. Allows you to be critically hit 25% of the time. After critical hit, you gain various buffs for 10 seconds. Any healing potions consumed during this time period heal 50% more health. Uh, wow. See, I would honestly probably use that. Okay, I just want to see your, like, my health. Holy cow. <laughs> 1,000 health, bro. I honestly would probably use this, except for, I, I just, I'm, have, I'm filled on good accessories. So I just don't think that I need, I just don't think that I need it. Okay, guys, well, I guess the last thing I can do for this episode is, is go fight Duke Fishron. So I'm going to do a cut, and I'm going to go get a few Truffle Worms, and we'll fight Duke Fishron. Okay, guys. Well, I have two Truffle Worms to fight 
Duke Fish Ron two times. So hopefully we get a Razor Blade Typhoon out of this. Because I really want a Razor Blade Typhoon. So I'm going to buff up. And we're off. Okay. Um, I'm kind of honestly expecting Duke Fish Ron to be easy. Um, normally it's really freaking hard in like just regular ter uh, Terraria. But this is not regular Terraria. It's Calamity Mod. And um, already done a tenth of its damage. And yeah, we have a corruption beach. We, <laughs> I don't think there's, I don't think there's a regular beach left in this world. Okay, gotta watch out for those tornadoes, which I am not used to them being that small. I am used to them being massive because of like uh, expert mode and stuff, you know, in regular Terraria. I don't know. Duke Fishron is one of my favorite fights in the game. I'm gonna be honest, just because like it makes me feel like a pro. I don't know why it just does. But yeah, um, this uh, mana not looking too good. It's because I have to use this homing weapon. Um, just because he flies so fast. I mean, I could try. I could try to use Terror Ray. See what happens. I oh, actually, actually, actually I'm hitting a. I'm, I'm hitting a lot of shots. I think I'm fine. I think I can use Terror Ray. Terror Ray does the most damage out of all the weapons I have. So try and use that as much as possible. Um, however, for these sharks, I feel like the homing one would be better. All right, we're going into the second phase now. This is where it gets tough. All right, might I might have to switch to homing. I don't know. We'll see. I, th I think I'm doing fine. I don't think that... It, it, you know how like it goes invisible in in extra mode? I, that's not a normal mode thing, right? Like I know it happens in extra mode, but I don't know if it's an expert exclusive thing. Because, yeah, that would, that would be painful. I don't think it is, because usually it happens now. It usually happens like at 30%, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're going to beat this right now. And that was quick. That wasn't even like two minutes, bro. So yeah, luckily, or I think I'll be able to fit uh, two fights right now, which is cool. Hopefully I get Razor Blade Typhoon. Hopefully. I really want that. That's one of my favorite weapons in Terraria. It's just so satisfying. And you're dead. Okay. Um, get back here. No. I'm going to have to go all the way to the ocean floor. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, I didn't get it. I got this, though. Jeez, is this gonna be good? I mean, I guess we could try it. All right, let's uh, let's fight this dude again. Um, let's throw out my line and fight this dude right now. And I'm gonna try using the bubble gun and see what happens. I really just want like, razor blade typhoon because there's no other way to get it. I don't think these don't home, do they? I don't think they do. No, they don't. Okay, and also has horrible range, so I'm gonna stick to terror ray. That's not terror ray. Uh, I just really hope I can get it. Okay, I'm gonna cut till to the end of this fight. And he's dead. And Oh we got it! We got it! Yes! Yes, bro! Oh my gosh, and is that a new weapon? Ooh, a rogue weapon. Oh, that is weird. That is weird. But all I care about is this razor blade typhoon right here. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna replace it with um the Death Valley no the primordial earth. Even though it's probably act technically not as good, I still just I love this weapon so much. So, yeah, we got the Shrimpy Truffle, and then we had some Duke Fish on lore. The mutant terror of the sea was once the trusted companion of the old an old king. He tamed it using its favorite treat. Long time ago, the creature flew in desperation from the raging bloody inferno, consuming its home, ultimately finding its way to the ocean. Interesting. All right, well, I guess I can end the video there, guys. I think that next episode, we're going to be taking on... The Lunatic Cultist, the R Lunar Event, and actually we'll start with Astrum Deus, and then we'll go to the Moon Lord. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Uh, if you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you guys get notified when the next episode comes out. And also, smash the like button if you enjoyed it, so that way I know that you guys actually enjoyed this. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.